Hello everyone and welcome to I'll Be Sewing. My name is Gina and um, today I'm going to show you how to make this little clutch. Um, we've done something similar um, in the past but it was different size and also Dean had the compartments from um, the credit card so I'm going to show you how it works. So you open the zippers like that and what we have we have one area here another area here in here we have a part for all your credit cards here and then in the middle here we have a little uh, pocket here a little pocket a little pouch here with a zipper where you can put your change if you're using you know if you're going out or, or whatever you want to decide to put in there um, so with all this what's going on uh, we still have to keep busy and doing something so hopefully you like this type of project and you know you can at least keep busy and doing something um, so let's start with the materials this one year a particular this particular fabrics i do have some on the website if anybody's looking for it and um, it's i'll be sewing.ca you guys can check that out and um, so let's start with the materials so I have all my materials here. I actually wrote all the sizes and the pieces so I wouldn't forget anything. I wouldn't forget to mention anything. So we're going to start with the outside fabrics first. Okay, and this one here I'm actually using a Tula Pink. Uh, it's an older print, one of the older prints, but I still had some here at the store. And I believe I still have some on the website also. So I decided to use this one. And I try, I did my best centering the little design to the middle but sometimes because the designs are too close don't work with the measurements it could be a little hard um, this one was slightly easier to do than this one here because this was a little harder to center the design but I did the best I could um, so the pieces that we need for the outside fabric we're gonna need uh, p the pieces are gonna be six by nine and we're gonna need four pieces of lining so I have here one two three four and four pieces for the body for front and back so I have one two three four we also gonna need four pieces of our form or soft and stable it's the foam and I already did here as you see I did that I quilted so I fused mine to the wrong side of the fabric and quilted and also what I also did after I quilted on my piece I just rounded my corners. I got one of those creative grid or even a cup that you have, anything that you have that you can round this corner. You're gonna round all the corners of those, all those pieces. So all the eight pieces that we have here, four for the outside and four for lining and then four F fusible. If you don't wanna use foam, you can use a different fusible interfacing, something that's give it a little bit of body. Um, you can definitely do that. So that's the pieces we need for the outside. And then for, um, I better put that here so I don't. And then for the inside pocket, I have here, and the pieces the inside pocket that we need is a four by seven piece. And we're gonna need two of our main fabric, two of lining, and two pieces of SF 101. To interface those those two pieces there all right so all of those for the, our little pocket for the credit card slots we're gonna need um, I, I didn't do a fold fabric I did all the credit card slots separate this time um, I found it a little bit easier because at least I had all my finished edges so I have one two three four five six six pieces and the sizes for that is a five by five square and then i also interface them with sf 101 and the piece that i use of interfacing on them is a four by four as you see it has a half inch all the way around that doesn't have any any sf 101 all right that's the ones for the credit card slot then we're going to need a little zipper tab as you see here in one of the sides has a zipper tab let's see open all the way a little tab here so we're going to need one of those 
Um, and this one is a two by two piece will be enough. So what I did here, I just, that's a two by two piece. So I fold it in half, fold it this way and that way, and that will be attaching to my zipper. Then we also gonna need um, we also gonna need two zippers and I have my two zippers here. One is a 12 inch and one is a 7 inch. Okay, this one here for the outside for the, the main here, it's a size 5. This is what I used here, a size 5. And the one inside here, as you see, I used here a size 3. Okay. Then we're going to need some kind of um, some kind of thing to, to hold your uh, your bag, like a little handle, a little strap to hold your uh, your bag. So for that piece, I have here a piece. This one is 15 uh, by two inches, like that. And again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fold, 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 and fold again and leave it that for when we got it ready. And then the little piece that's gonna go here, as you see here, I have a two and a half by two, and again, you're gonna fold, fold and fold, and leave it ready for, for when we're ready to sew them. Another little piece that I actually don't have here, but that you're gonna need, you're gonna need a little piece of fabric to do a little tab in the end of the fabric. And this is just a little, a little piece, it doesn't matter the size, probably about, I would say, a 4x4 four four piece, we'll cut it down to size when we need it, when we need to finish our zipper here. Uh, that's one of the ones I forgot to cut and bring it here. Uh, we're also going to need some hardware, and the hardware that we're going to need, we're going to need is um, a half inch swivel hook and a D-ring. So something like that to put on the back. You, of course, you can use bigger ones. Also optional is, if you don't want to use just this, this little handle to carry around, you can definitely add a strap. If you add another one of these to this side, you can definitely attach a strap and carry it as a bag. Okay, and I think for materials, we are pretty much done. We're going to now start with instructions. So we're going to start preparing some things and put it to the side. So. What I want you to do is prepare the pockets. So we're gonna get the pockets, the card, the credit card holders. So I'm gonna have, I have them here. I have the six ones. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna go ahead and fold these in half like this. Okay. It doesn't matter which, how you fold it because the fabric is, if the fabric is not directional, it doesn't really matter. It's five by five, so whatever direction is fine. So you're gonna go ahead and fold them all. And you're going to be sewing this about a quarter of an inch down here and leave an opening here to turn them inside out. So you're going to do that to all six pieces. After you sew your six pieces with, through that little opening, you're going to turn it to the right side and you're going to, uh, you're going to trim the little corners here turn it to the right side, and then you're going to press it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do those, and I'll show you the when they are done. Also, while I'm in the sewing machine, we're going to prepare her strap. So what are you going to do with your little hook here? So I already showed you that you have a 2 by 2 by 15, uh, 2 inches by 15, and you're going to iron it to the middle, 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 and middle here. You're going to get your little hardware, you're going to put it in the middle, and you're going to open this part here and this part here. You're going to go ahead and join these two ends. After you join those two ends, you're going to fold everything in like this. You're going to fold it again, open that little seam and fold it. And then you're going to go ahead and sew this all the way around. Keep moving this to sew this around. So you end up with a better finished. Okay, after you've done that, you're going to go ahead and sew a seam across here. I think I've showed this in other videos before. All right. With the little piece that you have here uh, for the D-ring, the, the what you're going to do, 
I have one already that I did ahead. But what are you going to do? You have a two by two and a half or, or two even. You're going to fold that in, fold that in, and then refold again to the same direction. So you end up having the edges in there. So you're going to fold, 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 fold and fold. And then you're going to go ahead and do a seam all the way around. I already have one here that I've done ahead. So it's ready to attach to my bag. And I'm going to put it here to the side. So I'm going to go ahead with the credit cards and then I'm going to show you how to do your next step to attach the credit cards to your fabric. So I saw all my pieces, I turned it inside out and what I did, I did, I'm going to show you here, I have one here, so I sew around, left a little opening here. And then the reason that you see, I just want to explain something to you. The reason that you see that the, the SF-101, it's still like smaller than my seam allowance here. I did a quarter of an inch seam allowance here and I still have another quarter of an inch into here. It's because when I turned this in, and because I have to sew this together, I didn't want the bulk to be in here because I still have to do a seam in these sides here. So I made it small enough so when I put these on top of each other, I have less bulk. That's the reason that we did the SF-101 short, a lot shorter. Because when we do a seam here on the other side, it will secure this in place. It's not going to go anywhere. Plus it's fusible, it's fused to your fabric, it will stay put. Okay, so you're going to turn it. First you're going to trim these corners. I didn't trim this one. You're going to press it and then you're going to do a top stitch here on the top. This part we're going to leave it open because we're going to sew that on when we sew it to the next part. After you have all your six pieces done, for your uh, credit cards, uh, you're going to grab one of the pieces that you have of your main fabric. You're going to find the middle and draw a line and do one inch down from the top. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to set these in place. You're going to also go here. This is still has threads. I'm going to trim this up. So you can also find the middle here and you're going to center the middle to this to one inch line there. Put it like that. You're going to take that to the sewing machine. You're going to sew this here all the way around. You're going to grab your next piece. Same thing. You're going to find the middle. Center to, to the on top about like a half an inch from the top like that half to a half an inch from the top you're going to center on the top you're going to go ahead again and take to the sewing machine sew again from here across and up and that one is secure and then you're going to do your third one you're going to do the same thing you're going to put it on top again about a half inch from this one here center to the top here and you're going to go ahead and sew it here and here. And you're going to end up with a piece like this. I already did my other piece. Okay. So as you see, mine are already sewed in. So then next step, after you have these two prepared like this, you're going to get your pocket, uh, the one that's going to be for your middle. And what I want you to do, we're going to do some drawings here on this back here. So I want you to go one inch from the top, draw a line, one inch from here, one inch, and one inch from here to here, one inch from the bottom. And you're also going to find the middle, and you're going to draw a line. Okay, so you end up something like this. So one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, and the middle center. You're going to do that to both pieces, and we're going to need those markings. So after you've done this, you're going to get your lining and your zipper. 
And now we need to finish this zipper and put a zipper tab. So we're going to go ahead and trim this over here. Get that little piece that we had that was for our uh, zipper tab. We're going to put this in here like this and we're going to sew across. Okay, so I'm going to finish this part here and finish my zipper and I'll show you how to attach the zipper. So I sew my zipper pull, my zipper pull, my zipper tab, and now I'm going to go ahead and trim it to the size of the zipper. Okay, so now we're ready to work with this part here. We're going to start making our pocket. So what I want you to do, you're going to get your zipper pull, and we have done all these markings on the back, and then the front here, I want you to go mark three quarters of an inch in this way, three quarters of an inch this way, three quarters of an inch, and three quarters of an inch. Okay? So you're going to do those markings. Then you're going to get your zipper, and you're going to put the zipper here on, on the measurements that you have there, and you're going to bring it to that measurement there, to the three quarters. From the three quarters, see if you can see it. From the three quarters here that I have here, I'm going to put my zipper tab there and I'm going to bring my zipper to that three quarter mark and I'm going to do a marking here. Okay? And I can also transfer that marking to this side. Okay? So then from that marking on, we're going to go half an inch this way from that marking we're going to go half inch, we're going to mark there and half inch there and we're going to go ahead and we're going to trim that part okay so how do we attach the zipper? the best way that I find to have the zipper done that's easier is we know we have to do right sides together like that. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring right sides together, and but I'm going to bring this part of the zipper down like that. Okay, so I would be sewing my zipper like this, right? I would be sewing like this. And now I'm going to go bring it down like this, and I'm going to go ahead and do a seam there. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do the seam, and I'm going to show you. Okay, just hold on a second. So I secure my zipper there like that and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go this. I'm going to bring my zipper up like this. You see that? This is folding here as doing a corner and look, my tab is going to end up exactly on that line that we had, the three quarters of an inch. You see that you end up folding a little thing like that. So see, let me bring it up again. So you're going to go ahead and bring this edge to the top and fold that like that. So you end up with a little fold like that. Alright, so you go like that Then you're going to go ahead and pin it and sew it across. I'm just going to go put a pin for now here. Okay, and then you're going to grab your lining, put it on top, and sew this all the way to the end, sandwiching the zipper in between. Alright, we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So we're going to grab our other piece, right? and again, maybe this part has to go right sides together. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring, we're going to open the zipper a little bit because it will be easier. So we know that this part here, the, the, the part of the edge of the zipper is going to go down because I would do right sides together. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move my zipper down, go here, secure it in place, do a little seam there. After I sew that in place like that, I'm going to 
turn my zipper like that to make a little pleat here and I'm gonna bring this over to again to down my three quarters of an inch and I'm gonna sew that across just like that you pleat it and you sew across there there you go there's your little pleat okay so then you're gonna get your lining and again right sides together and sew on top so after you sew the two sides you're gonna also do a top stitch so I did a top stitch here and a top stitch here from my lining okay so now we have to attach this part of the bag to these ones here so and what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lift the lining as you see here on this one here I mark a quarter of an inch from the bottom here I'm going I trace a line and this is where I'm gonna have to aim my my bag so I have my half and I have my half inch so I'm gonna bring that down to there to the half inch and what I want you to check is you're gonna feel the credit cards here like when you put your fingers here so you're gonna see if this line is too close to the credit card so you can adjust a little bit also center with this side because sometimes when we mark these lines they might not be exactly on if we move a little bit so make sure you center it that you have enough to sew in each side and you have the same distance in each side let's see because you don't want to catch the credit card so after you're happy with that so I have that center to there to the middle I have here to there I can go ahead and measure from here to here and here to here as long as my bottom is straight and I can definitely pin it so what do I have here okay um, Yeah, I'm pretty good. It's pretty good there. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this like this just to check. See if it's straight and looks pretty straight. So I'm going to put a couple pins. And this is where we're going to sew. We're going to sew from this line here down, across, and up always missing the credit card so if I sew here I'm literally I'm missing the credit cards I'm sewing right beside that credit card line all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so this part here and here of course we want to backstitch really well so because it's an opening there and we want that to be really secure I'm gonna go ahead and do that so after you sew that you can remove the pin pin that and if you see, you're already creating your bag. So now what we got to do, we got to finish our bag that's in here. And this is literally is more the tricky part. So how do we now finish our bag? We know we have to sew these together, linings together. And we also have to sew this one and this one together. So what I want you to do, you're going to fold this in, fold it in. Fold in, fold in. We can put a couple clips if we can to secure it in place so we see what we're doing. Or you can use tape. Pins I don't recommend. So I have that folded. Also, I would need to fold this one in, 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 and in. You see that? Now I got to bring this part here to this one. I find it sometimes a little bit easier not to worry about folding. Okay, not worrying about folding. And I know. This part here and this part here, let's see, this part here and this part here, they have to come together. So if I go here 
and I put this together okay and I go and just go like this okay and match this part here together here put a pin or a clip and I normally do, do this in steps. I go ahead and sew here until here, until this curve here. Then I go here on the other side. I push all these in again. Let me take the pin out, this out, because no point. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just open the zipper because it will be a little bit easier. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and fold that there, put it together. I'm not really worrying about this yet because it's a small bag and it's a lot of bulk in there. So I'm going to go ahead and push these in like that and put this together like this. Put pins or clips, whatever works better. And you can definitely do this into steps. You can go ahead, sew a little piece here, sew that little piece there, then go here in the bottom, push this in, and go ahead and finish your seam. Because sometimes doing it all at once with all this bulk can be a little difficult. Unless you pull a little bit of this out towards this side. So you can definitely do that. Pull a little bit out towards the open and try to sew it all the way around. Hopefully that makes sense. Like that. After you sew that part here, you're also going to be sewing here the lining also the same way. And then you, as soon as you get to the, passing the curve, you're going to stop. And passing the curve, you're going to stop. And you're going to leave this whole piece open so we can turn it inside out. We need as much opening as possible because this is a small bag and it has a lot of bulk in there. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to take it to the machine. I'm going to start here. Sew a little bit here. Keep this flat. Sew here. Then push the, all these in and sew that around or I can try to push as much as possible to the other side if I can while I'm working on this side I can try to push as much as possible to the other side sew this around it's a little bit more bulky but you can do it it's not as hard if you take your time and do step by step you can definitely do it okay and go ahead And then after you've done this part, you can definitely do the lining as I, I told you, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and finish this part and I'll show you the next step. So I sew all the way around it. As if you notice, on my lining I went a little bit more in. Here I kept it as about a quarter of an inch, but in my lining a little bit more in because I'm, I want my lining to be slightly smaller than my old side. So I'm going to go ahead and now try to take this out. This is probably the hardest part of the bag is turning things inside out because you don't have a big opening and it's a lot of bulk. Just take your time and just do your best. Take one step at a time. Um, Make sure you cut everything before you close this lining and then you can go ahead and close the lining here because it doesn't need to be open anymore. Okay, so now we need to prepare the outside. So our inside is done. It's like that. So we have our credit cards and all those and the zipper pouch in the middle. So now we're going to go ahead, we're going to get two pieces of lining here. And you're going to go ahead and all your lining pieces, you're going to cut from the top, you're going to cut a quarter of an inch off. So it's slightly smaller. All right. Uh, just from the top. So we're going to go ahead and get one lining here. 
and I need to attach one lining to each piece of these so I'm gonna go fold this one down and put my lining to that one there and I'm gonna go ahead and sew it so I'm just gonna put pins for now okay you're gonna sew that turn it to this side after it's sewed and you're gonna go ahead and do a top stitch okay then we need to do the same to this side after this one is done you're gonna get your other lining right sides down on top of that you're gonna join to that piece there same thing join it sew it across turn to this side fold it this way and do a top stitch all right, so I'm going to do that and then I'll show you to do the next part. So I sew all the lining pieces and you're going to end up starting to look something like this. Okay, so as you see, my lining is a quarter of an inch shorter. Okay, I also would like to kind of trim a little bit of my lining also here. But I, what I'm going to do instead of that, I will um, sew a little bit more in like I did with the other one in my lining side. Instead of a quarter of an inch, I might go almost to a half an inch after they joined them. But in the bottom is already fixed, okay? So, now we're going to start doing the outside parts. I have this part here and my zipper. We're going to measure again three quarters of an inch in, three quarters of an inch in the two outside fabrics. Okay, two quarters of an inch. I already did my markings. Then you're going to get the zipper. This is a 12 inch zipper. In this case here, we're not going to trim the zipper down because we're going to need this to be um, long in one end. So, but we're going to do the same thing as we did on the other side. So we're going to go ahead this side. We're going to go ahead and open the zipper, okay? And we know zipper side down, right? Mm -hmm. Sew that little piece across first to secure it in place. Then we do the same thing that we did before. We fold, okay? See it's folding, doing that little pleat there. We're going to bring that pleat up as if we're doing like a, a a corner on a quilt so we're doing that little pleat see and we're gonna go ahead and sew the zipper all the way to where you have your other marking when you get there you're gonna stop in this case here we're not gonna we don't have a tab we just have to stop sewing there after you've done that you get a piece of lining you're gonna put it on top and sew that on so I sew mine. I forgot to mention that the other side here, so I'm going to show you on this piece. Remember that we got to stop. We normally have to push this away and to not to sew this zipper in the rest here. Okay, so I'm going to show you on this one. So now I have to do this side here. And so my side here, this is the side that's going to go on here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put that down. And then fold all the way up and pull. Let's put a couple of pins so I show you what I mean about the zipper. So you're going to sew it all the way to here, to this tab here. All right. Let's even close the zipper so we can maybe see a little bit better. Okay, so we would have that like that. So this part here, I don't want to sew it in the lining. So I would push this down, 
put my lining on top and then sew across. Alright, so I'm going to do that part. So I finished sewing the zipper and I did a top stitch here and here. Now I need to attach this part to this part here. And what do I know? I'm going to look where my zipper is because I want my zippers to be both to the same side. And I'm going to go ahead and I know this is going to have to go like this. So that means I have to work with one side of the bag and then work with the other side of the bag. So what I'm going to go here, I'm going to go ahead and fold this in and this in like this. I'm going to put pins, but pins is not a good idea. So I'm just going to see if I can use a couple of these clips here to fold this part and fold this part. Okay. So now I end up having one part like that and I need to work with this bag. So what do I know? I'm going to go here now and one of these parts, so my zipper is going to that side, so this part here, that part goes side down, okay, so like this, and I need to sew this part here of my bag, I'm going to push the zipper in to this part here. So I'm going to match that seam there. And I need to sew this all the way around. Alright. Match the seam here also. Okay. Now we have this lining here. This part here that has the lining and this lining here. So this here is going to fold and that lining and this lining have to come together with the zipper inside. So we're going to go ahead and pin this around. So we're going to go ahead and sew the lining and leave an opening from here to here to turn it inside out. Okay, so one side is done. Okay, so we have something now like this. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to, we have that like that, we're going to bring the lining together. This goes inside and this goes in here. So what I want you to do in this case is try to go like this. We already have that sewed so it will be a little bit easier. Just kind of push this in whatever you can and you're going to fold that there and the lining there. Zipper inside. In this case, better to have the zipper a little, I don't think it will matter but so we're going to go ahead and push this in, line out, this line out, we're going to match these here. Alright, do the same to the line and leave an opening here to turn inside out. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to turn it to the right side. Alright, it looks like this. So now we need to finish this zipper. I'm going to trim just a little piece off. I'm going to get a little piece a fabric here. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to sew here and here right on the side of the zipper, not catching the zipper. You don't need to catch the zipper. Going to go ahead and sew that. And then we're going to attach it to here with a rivet. Okay? I'm just going to sew that quickly and show you. 
So I sew my piece, I fold this down. After you have your little zipper tab there, you're going to go ahead and bring that down here to your inside bag here. You have a little piece here, the inside bag. You're going to bring that down here. And you can do a couple stitches by hand if you want to, or you can put a rivet like I did on mine. So for now I'm just going to put a pin just to hold it in place. But I will be putting a rivet on it. So it stays like that. You know, um, or you can leave it loose. If you if you don't want to do that, you can definitely leave it loose. You can even make this a little shorter. I left mine a little long, but you could do this also a little shorter. I like putting mine in, but it stays like that, like I did here on this side, on this one here. See, I put a rivet here to hold it in place. It stays there. Um, and then we need to attach this little piece here. I have a little piece already prepared that I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to either, you can either go to the sewing machine and do a couple stitches like this on it or you can put a rivet. I'm going to be putting a rivet on mine. For now I'll leave it with the pen. So like that. And I'm going to leave this like this for now. So it's like that. You can also add one of those little handmade tags. I have one here. I will be putting one in here also because my lining is still open. I can do that through there. And then you can either use something like this on your bag with the fabric. Or you can get stuff like this, like this in this case here, I bought some pearls and I attached it to mine here. Or even like I can also add this here. You can also add another one of these to this side and put a strap and use it as a bag. And our project is done. I hope you like this project. Like our video and subscribe to the channel so you will be notified when new videos come up. Happy sewing everyone. We'll see you next time.